nightmare continues. One that wouldn't be getting any better anytime soon. As for this abnormality, it's one you wouldn't want to make you go to sleep. I have not one, but two. For we can change anything. Best to get this over with, but not yet. As the first of the dawn ordeals would be appearing at some point today. And as for this more recent abnormality, I need to figure out how this one works. Have that one get into position. And get the day started with the old lady abnormality. The cooldown timers are the key with that one. Well, if you wanted to avoid her getting upset and lonely. Which would affect the sanity of she affects. As for this one, let's try attachment. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. In this case, it's a... Violet Ordeal. I wasn't sure what this would involve. But what I did know... Is that I needed to be ready for it. As for this abnormality, it's called Void Dream. And it turned out that attachment was the was pretty good to use on it. Yeah. I had to time the works more carefully after that. Because it didn't want to get cut short on numbers. While it was apparent. Yeah, only one needs to work. So everyone but the one that needed to work, well... Yeah, and a gift of horns that protects sanity. 
Uh, it turned out that those of too low temperaments, well, it gave them a sleep so deep that kill them. Not gonna be a problem for any of the agents in the facility. The fruit of understanding. Many tentacle blobs. I do not know what to make of them. Even now. But that's considering. I've seen worse. Sometime between day six and, well, now. I'm sure that this would have been a lot slower if I... ...didn't have help. So I'm thankful for... ...the other me in that regard. do is to complete the research of Boy Dream. Which was what was in my mind at the time. And get this day over with. Besides, there was still some other works to do. Also, if I wasn't sure about viewing the beast, I should just not take chances and, well, choose something safe because two repression in a row. We already discussed what would happen. That's so we can change anything. Yeah. That was one way of putting it. They can change anything. Into a fine red mist. And that still wasn't enough to complete the research. with executives that could come up with. More messed up ideas than this. Oh, and this one. Yeah, they're more dangerous when they're breaching. Another range weapon. At least it looks like a ranged weapon. And a suit that protects against white and black damage. Well, that's 
better than the standard suit. And as for this abnormality story, Hollywood has got nothing on it.
I'd say that there was a place reserved in hell for this abnormality, but... <sighs> we weren't far off of that here, weren't we? Anyway, what I did was... Kept going with Void Dream, getting all the equipment, and then uh, getting this day over with. Sort of day seven. I was told that I was underestimating myself. And I'm being watched. Included by A, the founder of the Bobby Corporation. And I admit I didn't know that much about him. Other than the founder. He is a visionary. And I may... You might want to see me in person soon. That's my dreams. Don't really have them. does admires her creator. Which explains a lot. Although not too clear even to her.
after outfitting the agents for day seven. I decided to just get started on that. And see what this abnormality can do. Or rather what I need to do in order to Gather the use of all that. Although there was some last minute rearranging. I decided that it might be better to have some more fresh recruits in the information team. And it looked like there was a tree. Hard to know what that would involve, but we'd find out soon enough. I thought we'd die. I had the suspicion that getting a good result with this abnormality would be one of the most terrible ideas I could make down here. That sounded a bit redundant, but you get the idea. Considering the amount of P boxes that I'd be getting for doing it safely, I had a lot to work on with this one to get anything useful from it. Although it seems to me a good idea to use repression. It was called the Grave of Cherry Blossoms. And at least I knew the equip off counter for it. Who knows what this would do if it went to zero. The fruit of understanding. I knew how to deal with that one. Technique known as the Zerg Rash. Not original, but 
it sums up what needs to be done nicely. Attack in force until the enemy is dead. Right. Attachment not that good if I want to avoid good results. Yeah, felt weird, didn't it? <sighs> Getting bad results on purpose. The rules for the Grave of Cherry Blossom is... Get bad results, or bad things happen. Well, mostly bad things happen. Well, bad or normal results. Might take longer to get the research, but at least it'll keep casualties to a minimum. And that was all that mattered in the end. Couldn't avoid the casualties if we can change anything. But I'd rather not have any other more standard abnormality based deaths if I could help it. My suspicions were confirmed. Good results were a bad thing with this abnormality. That was to be avoided when possible. Didn't yet know why, but that was something I'd find out later. I found out if SP lowered to zero, the equip off counter lowered as well. Also, if the equip off counter reached zero, then the uh, agent was good as dead. In fact, they were dead.
the quiff of counter reset when the agents die and HP and SP got restored. As for what equipment is acquired by the Grave of Cherry Blossoms, it's a deceptively looking fan. Well, it's deceptive as and it doesn't look dangerous, but it can certainly cause damage in the right hands. And also a cherry blossom themed suit. Well, color of warriors indeed. As for the hair clip, not too sure about that. It might seem gender specific, but there's some pretty secure males around here. And thankfully that was the last. Last time I'd need to work on that abnormality. If there are any other abnormalities that require sacrifices, it's not that one. Well, that's my thought, but you'd find out later.
With one quick off counter, I decided it was too risky. I had to end the day now. Not many got developed today, but at least the Grave of Cherry Blossoms didn't take its first victim. Not today, anyway. When Andrew asked me a question, what if one of my subordinates? <sighs> then she said it was a choice between making the energy quarter and minimizing casualties. I gave her the answer I hope would satisfy her, as I just wanted to get this over with. To harvest the energy. As that's what we were doing, weren't we? Not even Montezuma saw this coming. seem to prefer to keep casualties to a minimum as well, although for different reasons. Well, to be honest, I wasn't paying much attention to her, just the important details. to use that limited time travel capability that's available to me from the start. Because I just found a part of the message from the other me that said, get this abnormality in the information department. Sounded important and he hasn't steered me wrong so far. Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> 